All right, you guys, so I have sorted the books from the table. This stack and this stack is just fiction novels. So those are gonna go on my brown bookshelf. Now this little stack I separated because these are all graphic novels. So I'm gonna put them in a little section just by themselves. This stack is my children's books, my picture books. And then these stacks right here are my nonfiction. And I'm going to put these, I'm going to put these books and the children's books over there on my gray shelf. And I might put the, um, the graphic novels over there too. And then this brown bookshelf just be completely for my fiction novels. So I wanted to show you what I'm using. And this is a website and it's classroom.bookstores.com, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is get on this website and you're going to make an account, you get a free account. And then you're gonna go to your school library and ask if you can borrow one of these bad boys, okay? Because what you're gonna do, this website, and I'm sorry if it's like blinking at y'all, this is a website that you're gonna use to scan books into your own personal library okay if you don't have one of these you can just punch it you can type it in manually every book but if you see i got a lot of books so that's that would be a real pain so you can just scan it like a real library boop, boop, boop. see it like it just plugs into your usb so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through and scan my books and create my classroom library on book source. All right, so on the website, you're gonna go to your library, and then you're gonna come over here to where it says add, because we're gonna add some books. If this is bothering you, I, I'm really sorry. Okay, so we're gonna add a book, because I already have some in here, and you've got it right there. So here's my book, Snapdragon. Okay, I'm gonna scan these. Um, graphic novels first so I just I scan it and here it comes up you know I don't have to type anything in there's my book so then I'm gonna get another one I think I already did that one I have it done comeback catcher so I'm gonna scan it and it puts my books in my library this is the best most effective way if you really want to have a library where the kids are responsible for checking things out because the kids are gonna come on here as well if they want to check books out from my library. If they're just borrowing them during class, you know, they don't have to do it. But if they wanna take them home, or if they wanna, um, like, if they wanna check it out to themselves, keep it in their book bag, then I make them, and I have the stickers over here, I'll show you guys. They know to go to classroombooksource.com, my classroom ID is Priest Library, and my password is Priest. It's old. People have scribbled over it. I really need to make some new labels, but they know if they want to check out a book, they go here on their Chromebooks. This is the classroom ID and the library, and then they will type in which book they got and just check it out to themselves. It's like the easiest, most efficient thing in the whole world.
All right, everybody. So here is the finished organized bookshelf. So I'm not really big on the labeling. I mean, I know it's like the author's last name that starts with A all the way to Z, but I'm not going to be a real stickler for it for the kids. I am going to tell them that when they take a book, you know, if they don't know where they got it or where to put it back to just return them. And I got this bin right here. And I put another red one up on that shelf. So they have bins to just return the books. And then I'll get a student to put them back. That can be like a little job. Now, I didn't have enough space for all my fiction novels. So I took out all the I Survived books and put them in this bin. I took out the big bulky Harry Potter books. And then over here in this basket, I had some new... Um, little sets of two and this one's got four and this one's got five so I put them in there just so that I you know I ran out of space but that is how I'm going to organize my classroom library <clears throat> and the most useful tool is going to be this book source program online so like I said go to that website make a little library for you Get one of them skinny things from the library where you work and um, just scan your books. Oh, there's a bit. All right, you guys, thank you so much for helping me organize my classroom library. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit like. Um, if you know of another idea of a video I can do, if you have a question about anything in your classroom, if you're a teacher, please leave a comment. Thank you guys for all the support that you give me. It really means a lot, and uh, I will see you next time.